Hello and welcome everyone to another episode on Box and Box and today I'm going to be unboxing another Bluetooth speaker <laughs> and this one is the Clavier Apollo portable Bluetooth speaker. However, you can see that there is no branding of the company name. So I am a little skeptical whether <laughs> this is an original product or not. But anyway, let's go through the specs over here. So it's got a Bluetooth 5.0 version, which is promising. Charging time is two hours and you get all these things. So you can just you know, pause the video and read if you want to, but pretty standard stuff, I would say. But without further ado, let's just unbox this. And okay, uh, we get the standard auxiliary cable. We get a micro USB charging speaker, and oh my god, no user manual. Oh, spoke too soon. So, you get a user manual as well. Let's take it out. Wow. In terms of bling, this one is going to get some awards, I have to say. Wow, it's like really reflective and all. So, does this thing open up? Okay, nice. So, you got the auxiliary connection over here, USB port over here, micro USB charging, SD card slot, and oh my goodness me. A lot of things. So, you get this one. I think this is like the base component, the subwoofer part of the speaker. Quite a tactile feel, I must say. So let's see if it has any juice left. Does it turn on like that, or do I need to press it? Mm. Oh my God! They have Bluetooth copied. Smell. Okay, Bluetooth mode. They have copied, uh, or at least they have the similar sound effect of JBL Clip 3 that I have. Let me just show it to you. Kind of similar, kind of similar. Not complaining, but I like it. <clears throat> so Bluetooth mode is on. Let us connect this. Okay, so this is what has come. X6. I don't know how this is X6, but <laughs> we'll see if this is the one. And that is the Clavier Apollo X6 is going to be the Bluetooth name probably when you turn it on for the first time. Anyway, so let's 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 play some music. So it's full volume over here on my phone. surprised actually so the sound is like really loud really loud and this is no gimmick it actually does deliver bass from here 
As you saw, I put this over here and it was like bouncing out. I'm not too sure about the studio effect. I need to test it with some songs. But overall, the first impressions are really positive. I mean, at first, I really was skeptical with all this pairings and stuff. And because first, it, my phone did not recognize this one. So I was like, okay, maybe this is a counterfeit product. But I don't think so now. Well, anyway, it's too early to tell. But right now, if I have to make a call and I have to give a rating, my ratings are positive, definitely positive. Sound is insane, man, insane. The anyway, I guess I'll do a little comparison with my Clip Three and the Sony SRS. I think it'll be fun. This is not that known as a brand when you are talking about Sony and JBL in the same sentence. So stay tuned for that. And let's do one thing. Let's make a auxiliary test with the aux cable given over here. A blue AUX mode. Okay, so whatever mode you want to utilize, they will sell. Okay, not that satisfying. Not that satisfying at all. With the given auxiliary cable, let's see. Stay tuned. I might just compare this with individually or together with this one and the JBL Clip 3, and I guess we might just find some surprising results. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you like this one. If you did, do give a thumbs up. Do subscribe. Please do subscribe. And until next time, as always, thanks for watching. Take care.